The city of Deland is now considering new signs to remind people where panhandling is not allowed anymore. Now that's after the city banned it at nine intersections just last year. Yeah, city leaders want you to know this is about safety. And as much as Claire Metz tells us, leaders started another initiative hoping to raise some money for homeless prevention. When you have panhandlers walking out into traffic, that does cause some safety issues. City leaders in Deland say they're not trying to hurt those struggling with homelessness, but rather help them in several ways. First, ensuring they're safe, and officials say they are not walking into busy roads asking for money. With the Florida Department of Transportation approval, leaders plan to put up these signs at nine intersections, reminding people that panhandling by city ordinance is prohibited. Those were the, the intersections that we identified that were most problematic as far as people walking into traffic and things like that. The nine intersections in the city were identified as being high risk for pedestrians following a Deland police study that compiled more than four years of motor vehicle accident data. Now, some of the cited intersections also generated the most calls for panhandlers. I think it's it's dangerous from a safety perspective where they're standing in those intersections. Savannah Jane Griffin is CEO of Deland's Neighborhood Center and welcomes anyone in need. She often stops when she sees people soliciting, telling them there's a better way. We offer meals daily. They can come and get food from our food pantry. We have our emergency shelter and housing programs. Griffin is thrilled to partner with the city on a new campaign called Spare Change for Real Change, an initiative that encourages residents to use a QR code or text to 44321 to donate directly to the neighborhood center. These signs will accompany those that say no panhandling. A lot of residents who are well-intentioned in giving to panhandlers, but it may not be the best way. Even if they're not able to give, they're aware and they, they see the name of the neighborhood center and then they could tell the individuals panhandling to come and seek out our services. In Deland, Volusia County, Claire Metz, WESH 2 News.